Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Sunday, June 2nd, and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I have a couple of fully finished projects I've done and pieces I've been working on. I cannot believe we're in June, can you? <laughs> and let's get started. Uh, the first piece I have is a pattern called Ready, Set, Snow by Kathy Haberman from Hands On Designs. And I fully finished this pattern. Now I use pom-pom for the trim. Let's see if we can get it there closer. You see the pom-pom? And then I used uh, blue velvet, navy blue velvet for the back. And I finished that into an ornament. So that is the first piece. He's super cute. And I changed the colors on that to be like more red, white, and blue for, for winter <laughs> instead of the traditional colors. Uh, the next piece I worked on is a Flip It by Lizzie Kate. And it's called Fourth of July. And this I made into a pillow. This is going to go into my basket. Bring that in a little closer there. And I used the red chenille and I used the red velvet. Now I had purchased, a, um, I think it was called the Patriotic Packet from Lady Dot and it was red, white, and blue velvet and it had red trim, which it was, it was a packet. And so I used those uh, to finish those projects. So got those done, yay, <laughs> two done there. The next project I've been working on, I went into my stitching room, the craft room, and I didn't realize I had whips in there. Have you ever put projects aside and forget you're working on them? Yeah, I've done that. And I have a couple which I totally forgot I had, so I pulled this out. And this is by the Prairie School, and this is Farmer's Alphabet. And I started this last year, and I actually forgot I had this piece. So I pulled it out, and I did a couple more blocks on this uh, piece. Look how pretty that is. And as you can see, I, I outlined the next block there. But I did Q and R. Q is quince and R is rhubarb. Bring those in a little closer. And that so far is the farmer's alphabet. I like it. It's really pretty and I cannot believe I forgot it. But there's a bunch I forgot, and with all the new patterns coming in, I totally get, like everybody else, we want to stitch everything. <laughs> so that, and then this piece of spring at Hawk Run Hollow, and I finished the fourth block. And every block to me on this piece is like a finish. <laughs> the blocks, they take a long time to do, and this is the fourth block. And this is going to be a really big piece when it's done. But there it is the fourth block and you can see you got the kites in there and I'll see what you get okay here we go so you got the first four blocks done that's awesome I really love the fabric it's on I love the colors in this piece but this this block took a while to do it took like I think I worked on it for a week. It took a while because there's a lot of, lot of full coverage stitching in it. Um, but I love it. And it's coming along. And after a week of stitching on this, I did need to put it away. Because <laughs> you're like, okay, next project. So I did that. I started a new piece, but I did so little on it that I'm not even going to show it. I'll show it in the, in the next video. And let me just put these down here. I pulled out, I have a, a patriotic display. And I'm going to show you some of those pieces. I'm just going to call this like a, from the archives. But this is a Lizzie K piece. And I finished it on there. And I did that last year. Super cool. Maybe the year before. I'm horrible with time, so it could be last year or the year before. And then I have, of course, I have my, uh, I put these in the patriotic display because they really are red, white, and blue. But I got 
my blue jay and my cardinal. So there's go on the display. These are super pretty. Love, love, love those. And a lot of people are uh, pulling out this book by Blackbird Designs. I know a lot of people are working on these pieces, but that's the piece I did. And I love it. And that's another finish I have. I'm forgetting what book it's from, but it's definitely Blackbird's Designs. And a lot of people have been pulling this out. I, I understand we all feel we want to do a patriotic now, so I get it. Uh, this I actually put in the patriotic display also. <laughs> and I know it says no well, but <laughs> it's red, white, and blue, and it goes. I have this in a my antique bowl drawer. It goes up on the fireplace. And then I have a whole basket. But I'll, I'll take these out and show you. I really like this one. Let's see. How cute is that? And we got the lighthouse. A little pillow there. The boat. I really like this one. We have home as a free. And there's another one. And who these patterns are by, you have to go look at my blog. I do not have memory for some. I can remember a little bit, <laughs> but as far as who the patterns are from, I don't remember. We got another one there. The red, white, and blue pillow. This one I know is Lizzie Kate. That's Hope. How cute that is. Got that in there. Got the, the button flag I made. <laughs> and then we got the little teeny, teeny tiny piece. And these all sit on the uh, fireplace display. So I have all my patriotic pieces out. And I leave that out until like September, October. So that is my focus for the whole summer. And yeah, we're in June. <laughs> I'm going to share a couple of um, things I got in the mail. Okay, so I got a, a beautiful card from Marlene Stitching by the Lake. And she sent me, she had seen this, uh, I think in her thrifting and she thought of me and she picked up the sunflower chart for me. Marlene, thank you so much. You're so sweet. If you don't know Marlene, go give her a visit, Stitching by the Lake. And then from Stacy, Stacy, thank you so much. You're so kind. She sent me a beautiful card with birds all over it. And she sent me a pattern from Lizzie Kate, and it says, Friendship Begins. She sent me some blue DMC, <laughs> my favorite color. And she sent me linens to uh, do the pieces on. Stacy, thank you so much. You, you're always so kind, and uh, I truly appreciate these happy things we get in the mail. Um, you're shocked, and it's always better than getting a bill. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, ladies. It's, it's so kind. This, community really is so giving. Uh, yesterday I was in uh, Bristol, Virginia and Bristol, Tennessee, and I paid a visit uh, to one of uh, the parks there and it, uh, what an amazing park. And I'm going to include that information on a uh, slideshow. And if you traveling through that area or visit that area, definitely go to this park. It was, it was amazing. I did my, uh, five mile walk there and uh it, oh it's just beautiful absolutely uh loved it so i'm gonna include some photos there my first sunflower bloomed on friday and i was like a little kid i ran out i got my camera and i took pictures uh, so the first sunflower did bloom and i'm gonna include an update on the garden the garden has exploded in my area in tennessee so uh, you'll enjoy that update. You'll get to see all the flowers and uh, super exciting time of year. I, I love the gardens and I've been busy doing that. So I'm going to be including that at the end also. I do have the uh, sunflower piece that I stitched that is at the framer. 
I'm actually having that piece framed. So I will be excited to share that when I get that back. And hopefully next week I'll be picking that up from the framer. I picked up a really different frame for it and I felt it matched very well. And it's the framer I dropped it at is an excellent framer. Uh, it's always fun when you get a piece back from the framer. So I'm looking forward to getting that back. On that note, everybody, I extremely enjoyed everybody's, uh, you know, the YouTube videos on Stitch Mania and things like that. Even though I don't participate, I do love uh, watching everybody's updates. There's some people that did daily vlogs. I know uh, Calico, Christine, <laughs> I watched yours every day and I, I know you're super busy with the kids and everything. So uh, it was fun to watch. It was good to see you. <laughs> you don't always post all the time so to see you every day was such a treat so thank you so much for that and i know everybody did so much <laughs> so it's hard to believe we're in june and you know we've been having really hot weather here it's been 90 90s in the 90s high 80s low 90s every day we really haven't had rain at all and i know some parts of the country are getting a ton of rain and uh, not so nice weather so I'm grateful it's nice out but we do need a little rain <laughs> we need a little bit uh, to keep the gardens growing and you know I've had to water and things like that which I typically don't have to do but no rain here uh, recently I hope everybody is having an awesome weekend and until we meet again everyone happy stitching Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Sunday, June 2nd, and we're back for a garden update. As you can see by the bird feeder, I feed them sunflower seeds and all the sunflowers are starting to grow from the seeds that fall. I don't plant these here. So they're growing pretty good. Over here you can see the lettuce garden and the lettuce is really big. I got the Swiss chard. The marigolds in the middle are growing. You got the kale and onions. It's looking very good. In the lettuce garden, I eat lettuce about every day. This is the herb garden. Everything is uh, growing good in the herb garden. Still got all the mints and garlic, oregano, sage. It's all looking good. Over here, you have rosemary in a pot. You got the beets, the marigolds. You got potted plants there. And then over here, these are the flowers that Lori Chicolone sent me from Once Upon a Stitch. They're growing good. I still don't know what they are. Uh, but eventually, they'll be blooming. Lori, they're looking good. And I'm going to bring you around to the front garden. As you can see in the front garden, the first sunflower bloomed. Um, Oh, the garden looks so good. And I'm going to bring you in close to everything so you can see that the sunflower, the first one, bloomed. I'm going to get in close to it. Look at how pretty. There'll be a whole bunch more blooming. Um, I'm going to go down front. You could see, all, look at all the zinnias. They're all blooming. And I do cut them and put them uh, in vases. And you could see all the way down and we're getting close to some of those but it really does uh, look so pretty there and let's see what we have here we got right here this little uh, pink bush plant that I planted this is uh, Beliza dark pink Gora and that's G-A-U-R-A and next to that, you got the purple flowers. And this is Blue Speedwell, Veronique. And these are all perennials. These will all come back every year. You got the zinnias here. Tons of zinnias. And I'm gonna bring you around the side. This is the other variety of sunflowers, and as you can see, they're going to start to bloom soon. These are really pretty. I, I can't wait to see these bloom and see uh, what they look like. 
will be really interesting. But the sunflowers are really tall. They're taller than me, so they're a little over five feet tall. Probably about five and a half feet. I'm five two, so they're bigger than me. Over here you got the butterfly bush, which is starting to grow. And over here you could see the first marigold is blooming. The bee balm is amazing. It's like a big bush and we're getting close. Look at the bee balm. They look like little porcupines and I gotta say the bee balm in the garden this year I haven't seen one bee still and that's kind of alarming to me. There's no bees. I haven't seen any bees and uh, it's not a good thing. You got bee bomb to attract the bees and no bees yet. Over here, I just planted some morning glory and you see they're already uh, popping up. I only planted those a couple of days ago. And over here on the peach rose bush, I still have roses blooming, which I'm really surprised about. Uh, so you do have the rose bush there. And over to the left, we have pink bee bomb. There's one bee. Let's see if I could get it. It's not a honey bee though. It's just a regular bumblebee. You can see them. That's the first bee I've seen all season, which is crazy. But look at this bee bomb. It's pink. Oh, I just love it. One is red and one is pink. And two different varieties because the other one gets really tall. And this one's more... Uh, short and stout and I love it very pretty bee bomb comes back every year and you could trim this down and it'll go back this year also so bee bomb is looking good you got more zinnias look at them all there's so many how pretty tons of them growing really good The sun is out, so you can see my shadow a little bit. We're on the left side of the garden now. And as you can see, look at these. These are a variety of marigold. And down here, I just planted this year. This is an Asiatic lily. Look at how pretty that is. That's a perennial. That'll come back every year. I just planted the daisy and that's blooming now and it, it looks really good and healthy there. These yellow flowers I just planted, this is called Mexican Hossip. They're really pretty. These are perennial, that'll come back every year also. This I planted last year and this is a blanket flower, it's called Spin Top Red. You can see one of them bloomed there already. You can see the hosta. That's actually gonna bloom a flower. And back here, it's looking really good. Not blooming yet. That's the Rosa Sharon. That'll bloom soon. I'm gonna go down a little further. This I just planted this year, and this is Delphinium, and this is Diamonds Blue. Look at the color on that. It looks pretty happy here. It's growing pretty good. Got another hosta back there. I don't think I'm going to take you in for the purple flower. This is called the balloon flower. And this is purple. And as you can see, it looks like a balloon before it opens up. Super, super pretty there. The yellow rose bush is still blooming a little bit, which I'm surprised. And we'll pan down. And that is the update on the garden. Happy stitching, everyone.